Hey, you guys. Good morning. Um, it is 11.51 on Thursday, January 8th. And so, anyway, um, well, as I was setting up reading the word and setting up for uh, step eight, I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't, you know, my head's everywhere. And I'm like, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. And um, I heard this little sweet, small voice in my head say, turn to Second Timothy. Okay. But is this really God that told me that I'm thinking, you know, because doubting and questioning, you know, Satan, the deceiver, likes to do that. To say, oh, you know, that's not from God. Well, I turned the Bible, I turned the page, and wouldn't you know, it landed on Second Timothy. Now, only God does. Only God can do that. And it landed on Second Timothy chapter three. Or actually, I'm, it landed on like on on ch yeah Second Timothy chapter three, but it was like. I, I read all the way through it, you know, from the first to the last chapter, which is chapter four. And as I was reading, I understood what God was wanting me to do. And he wants me, which is why I'm making this video, to tell about the good news, you know, um, and so people, you know, if you are new to Christ or you don't know what the good news is, I, you know, I was setting up what I was gonna say with scriptures and stuff, and I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna do what God told me to do, and He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, well, I'm getting scriptures for you, God. <laughs> and he's like, do you know who I am? You don't need scriptures. Just speak from your heart. You know who I am. Who am I? So, what is like, what is the good news? The good news is that Jesus Christ. It's about Jesus. He was the Son of God who died on the cross for our sins so we can be forgiven, we can be set free and we could live with God in heaven and live in salvation and have eternal life that's what the good news is <laughs> it's that you can be set free from your trials, from your addiction, from the bondage that you're in. You can be set free from your anger. You can be set free from depression. You can be set free and that hopelessness will go away. That impulsive behavior will go away, that anger, that jealousy, that desire of selfishness, will yourself, your, you will be brand new. You will have a new heart and a new mind and a new soul through Jesus Christ.
that's what the good news is, is you can have all that if you believe if you believe that he died on the cross for your sins and was risen from the grave you can have it it's yours he wants you he wants you to be happy he is see Jesus is God he is the son of God but he's God that came in human form see you have God who you can't see you know you just have faith that he's there because when you have that faith and when you believe that he is there you can feel it something about the presence and that presence is the Holy Spirit that Holy Spirit is what Jesus left behind for us so that we can teach we can have wisdom we can have knowledge we can understand the Word of God so we that Holy Spirit is when we pray and we draw we draw ourselves into the Lord and we seek him that spirit is our connection with God that spirit is our connection with God so that he will guide us that spirit is what guides us God guides us through his spirit so you have God and then you have Jesus who God the Father the Heavenly Father sent his son Jesus which is God but in human form to sacrifice himself on the cross so he died on the cross and has shed his blood and he went through all that torment from the Romans he, he, he died on the cross and sacrificed himself for us so we could be set free and his blood the blood that he shed is healing by his stripes we are healed we are healed by his stripes we are healed from what from everything as long as you believe as long as you have faith now we have so many people right now mocking God and scoffing and just you know saying that the Bible isn't true what <laughs> Oof. yo I don't know who told you that but when you get a piece of it for yourself and you can feel it then you know it's true you know like someone said oh you know yeah Jesus may be coming back but that doesn't mean the Bible's true how does that make any sense how do you know who Jesus is if you're saying the Bible isn't true I don't get it they don't get it a lot of people don't get it but it's because of that human mind that human thinking it's like it's like Taco Bell think outside the box you know you gotta think outside the box think outside of the human mind there's something so much bigger so much bigger that we can't even even understand or even come to understand or even come to believe because it's just so big and so uh, Jesus 
came as a human form, sacrificed himself on the cross, and while he was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive these men, for they not know what they're doing. I mean, to be getting spit on, to be getting whipped, and he's saying, God, forgive these men. Wow. And I was reading in here, and it was talking about Jesus before, like, you know, he knew he's God. You know, he knows what's going to happen. He knew that he was going to be betrayed from Judas. That Judas was going to betray him. And he knew that he was going to die. You know, he knew. He knew what everybody was thinking. <laughs> he knows it all because he's God. And, but even when Jesus was here in human form, the Son of God, the Son of God still prayed, still prayed to the Father in heaven. And now, if the Son of God gets down on his knees and prays to the Father. How much more does that speak that we should pray? If the Son of God is praying, how, it shows just how much, how important prayer really is in our lives, in our daily lives. I mean, he, Jesus prayed a lot. He prayed a lot. And he prayed by himself. Alone. At crazy hours in the night. And so. When he died. On the cross. Because. And he got tempted. He was tempted. Let me tell you. He was. The devil tempted him. When he was fasting for the 40 days and 40 nights. Satan came and he was like, oh, wouldn't you like this bread? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, if you're really Jesus, why don't you jump off this and have God and, you know, your angels come save you? I mean, just really... So, you know, Jesus understands our temptations. Jesus understands... Thank you very much.